اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, we are going to look into CFA with Smart PLS and analyzing the Smart PLS output. Now, what are the data analysis steps? And when we are conducting the data analysis, the first step is to make sure that we clean our data. Now, I've talked about this in the previous sessions as well, that you have to look into the minimum and maximum values. You have to look into the respondents' misconduct. Check for outliers. and all the necessary assumptions of CBSCM. Now these are the main ones that one can look into. Now after that, once you have cleaned your data, assessed the normality of the data, checked for respondent a misconduct and the outliers. The first step in a CBSCM or PLSSCM is measurement model assessment. Now in CBSCM, you start with assessment of model fit, factor loading, then reliability, followed by construct validity that includes convergent validity and discriminant validity. And finally, we report our measurement model. We will look into this as we go along in this whole series. And finally, once the measurement model is assessed, the next step is a structural model assessment. that also starts with the model fit and then we assess and report the significance of relationship what we do is we check for path coefficients t statistics and p values now if p value for a particular relationship is less than 0.05 and this means that the results or the relationship is significant and your hypothesis that is alternate hypothesis is supported so you reject your null hypothesis and finally report your explanatory power that is r square moving on cfa with smart pls now let's assume i've got this model here i've got two construct collaborative culture and organizational performance now as part of cfa all your latent variables are covariated with each other now once i add these variables how did i add them let me delete each one of them Now, in order to create a new project, just simply go to new project, give it a name. Let's say, call it X Y. Now here it is. The first thing, import the data file. So I've got my data file here. You can import yours wherever it is. Let's say this is the one. So you press this, press open, and here it is. Now once that is done, you need to create your model. So click create model, and in this case, I'm interested in CBSCM model. and you give it the name let's say this is my measurement model now once that is done then you can create model how to do this let me go back here double click on the model let's say i want to create i've got two variables for for instance one is collaborative culture and the other is organizational performance let's have got these two here Now click here. Move the indicators to the right. Indicators to the right. Now co-vary them. In CFA, you co-vary your latent variables. Now let's move it here. And now the model is done. Look at this. This is one of your parameter is fixed in each of the construct. Fixed to one. Now these are your error terms. These are your indicators. latent variables correlation and arrows from the latent variable to the items now to run this model let's save it first go to calculate and run basic cbscm algorithm now if i had more constructs i would add them and link them as well now for now i'm just introducing the concepts so i'm going to stick to very simple model now i'm just going to use defaults start Now here are my results. So this is my graphical output. These are factor loadings. This is the correlation between the CC and OP, the two constructs. Factor loadings, error variance. Now you can change what is being displayed here from these options. Now outer loadings or standardized regression weights, as you as we used to call them in AMOS, 
and use standardize. Now these are your outer loadings. Now these outer loadings are later used for construct reliability and validity. Your composite reliability greater than 0 0.70 all good. AV greater than 0 0.50 all good. We are going to look into these things in greater detail in coming sessions as well. For now I'm interested in one thing that is my model fit. So where is my model fit? So in the quality criteria, I've got model fit here. This is the model fit. RMSCA, well, it is quite high. GFI approaching 0.90. SRMR, fine. Greater than 0 0.90, approaching 0 0.90, fine. Now I've got that output here, model fit. And these are the absolute fits, incremental fits and parsimonious fit. C min divided by degrees of freedom. Here it is degrees of freedom. Here is chi square. If you divide them, you get this 5.420, which is slightly acceptable, not that bad. P value significant. Well, most of the times, if you've got a higher sample size, it will be significant. RMSCA not acceptable. Look at this. It should be less than 0 0.08. GFI, well, approaching the acceptable value. AGFI, not that good. Required was 0 0.90. CFI, TLI, and NFI, well, TLI is approaching 0 0.90, the other two are quite fine. So this is how you can assess your model fit for a very basic model. Now, these are the references uh, that I have used for preparation of this session. I hope this session would have helped you understand the very basic steps in data analysis and results. We are going to do some complex models as we go along. Thank you very much.